imagine on a rainy day, <laughs> you are relaxing in the car at the R&R. &R. Uh, with the air conditioning on, listening to the soft music, relaxing your head at the rest, seat at rest, and windy air cold blow on your skin. Is it that cool for a quick nap, right? But a recent new reported a, a girl, a group of sorry, sorry. But a news report, a group of girls reported died while sleeping in the car, and they are and they are suspected died due to the carbon monoxide poisoning. So my name is Miza Rashika Mti Mazlan. It's Matrix number two. <laughs> Bend at uh, 4.7 micro 
micrometer that show that the presence of carbon monoxide. The second technique is we use the gas chromatography using flame ionization de de detection (MID). So from this, uh, the water, uh, the air sample, we will uh, pump into the uh, pre column, and this pre column will uh, capture the carbon carbon dioxide, non methane, uh, hydrocarbon, and water. So at the end of the uh, at the end of analysis, we can see there are. Um, a peak uh, at a certain point they show the presence of carbon monoxide. So let's move, move on to another part of presentation which is data analysis. So during we doing this um, SEL, we also separate, uh, we also do the survey to know the people awareness about carbon monoxide poisoning. So um, our responsible profile, uh, our our respondent is the total number of our respondents is the, uh, 13, uh, 20 is fe uh, female, and 10 is male. So this is their profile. And we go to the result. So during this uh, analysis, during this survey, we ask uh, several uh, topics, which is about this uh, general knowledge about uh, carbon water poisoning. Uh, about uh, the, uh, the the sy symptom of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning and the way they are to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. So based on the uh, survey, we could see that uh, most of the people are aware about the carbon monoxide poisoning because uh, around 70, 73.3% of the respondents were familiar with the air pollution of carbon monoxide in the car. It is may because there are several issues that we know in the social media. There are, there are three people are die in the car, okay. and um, but uh, that we say that they are um, they are aware about this issue. But okay. but when we see uh, about the their behavior in the car, we, is, there are there are some of them was sleep in the car without turning off the engine. More than an hour. This this is uh, one of the dangerous um dangerous behavior because uh, it, uh because if because if they are do, didn't open the uh car if there are uh, any leaking during uh, in their exhaust system the carbon monoxide will flow into the passengers passengers so and another behavior is they did not did not put the carbon monoxide detector in their car. So only uh, only a small amount of the of the um, respondent uh, uh, put the carbon detector in carbon monoxide detector in the car. So and another thing is their method is they use the recirculation re recirculation mode for air aircon. This is because when we use the recirculation mode when have any leakage as I said just now, uh, the carbon monoxide will uh, flow in around the passenger mode. So in conclusion, we can see that um, how carbon monoxide affect our health, that it can replace the, the oxygen in our body. And um, from this, we also so uh, and from this we also see uh, several uh, analysis that we can do to uh, analyze the result of carbon monoxide which is using spectroscopy and gas chromatography. And lastly, uh, I just want to say that uh, to say if you have a car but you didn't have the uh, carbon monoxide detector, please do it. It is uh, for your life and for your future. Okay, that's all for us. Thank you.